Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we're going to be making this beautiful, uh, sparkly, snowflakey Christmas card. Um, so I am using the Snow is Glistening stamp set with the uh, Snowfall Thinlets and the Snowflake Trinkets. All of these are still available until the end of the month. On November 30th, they go away. So um, if you want them, I would go over and get them soon. Um, they are very, very, very pretty. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to tell you about was the online extravaganza. And this um, <clears throat> is going on right now. We are having 10% uh, off of anything in the annual catalog on certain days. Today is the, what is today? I don't even know what today is. Today is the 24th. So everything, <clears throat> all the paper and embellishments um, until midnight tonight are going to be 10% off in the annual catalog only. <clears throat> Everything for 48 hours is going to be 20, 10% off. So the 25th and the 26th, the stamps and the kits are going to be 10% off. The 27th and the 28th, tools and ink is going to be 10% off, excluding the Big Shot and the Stamparatus. So um, make sure that you uh, keep that in mind as you're placing your orders. And also through the 28th, Anybody that places an order with me is going to get a surprise in the mail, okay? Um, it will be maybe a package of rhinestones, a package of embellishments. I'm just going to pick some um, random things out of the catalog, and I'm going to be sending them to everybody that places an order with me. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is the beautiful card that we are going to be making. It's just got a sweet scent, sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season <clears throat> with all of the pretty snowflakes. I'm sorry if I keep clearing my throat. I'm still getting over my cough from going to Florida for on stage. <laughs> so I'm using a piece of Mary Merlot and this is 11 by four and a quarter. And I have that scored at five and a half. So I'm just going to fold that in half, give it a good crease with my bone folder. Okay. If you notice cracking on your cardstock, which you shouldn't with um, scoring, but sometimes if you don't get your scoring real deep, it will sometimes crack. If you just run your bone folder along the edge here, just like that, it gets rid of all of that cracking for you. All right, there is my cardstock. The next piece that I need, I used the retired banners framelits for these, um, but you you don't have to. This is doing a banner is very simple. So this piece measures four and seven eighths by two and three quarters. So four and seven eighths and two by two and three quarters. All right. Then all you have to do, it's just faster this way um, with my uh, framelits. All you have to do is snip up the middle and then cut on each. Oop. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe I did that? <laughs> oh, Lord. And then cut on each. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. All right, so we're just going to cut up to the center here. And it's going to be a little off. There we go. <laughs> that is so funny. Now, I would not probably be laughing if I was by myself, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, brother. Okay, so there you have it. It's not hard, as you saw. Okay, so then you need that. You're going to need two pieces of Whisper White that are... Four and a quarter by four by five and a quarter. Four by five and a quarter. This piece of garden green is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. 
I tried to use the um, layering framelits and the largest framelit that we have, I used the largest scallop and that is just three by three. And I wanted a little bit more green to show. So that's why I just cut a square of three and a quarter by three and a quarter. All right, then you're going to be using the um, sparkly, sparkle glimmer paper. This is very sparkly, but the sparkles do not come off. So I really like this about our new glimmer paper. It's this all, and it's thinner. All of our glimmer paper is um, like that. It does not come off. So I used this one, this one, and then one, two, three, I think one, two, three. This one, this one, and this one. I used five of the snowflakes. Okay. I cut these all out so um, the video wouldn't be as long. All right. And then I think that is about all that I used. Um, aside from the um, snow is falling or what is it called? <sighs> snow is glistening stamp set. And I used the sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season. I used that for the inside. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so I cut, I already <clears throat> cut out all of the pieces here. And <clears throat> you're also gonna need your twine. This is in the holiday catalog. It's the Garden Green Baker's Twine. And all I did is I took some and I didn't cut it off because then I didn't have to waste any. And I just took my Baker's twine here and I laid it where I wanted it. And then I put a piece of tape right here. And then I'm just winding it around three times. Then I'm going to cut it at my ribbon scissors here. And then I just cut it. And then I took another piece of scotch tape and I just taped that to the back, just like that. All right, and then if you need to shift them around You'll be able to do that. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I took my piece of garden green. I put some dimensionals on the back of this. I put five on here. And I did put a couple over the baker's twine. Just to make sure that, it, although it's not going anywhere, but just in case. What is that? Back to an earring. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna go on the back of this. And I'm just, excuse me, centering it. So that this and this and the the um, top are all about the same distance. I'm hoping. <laughs> Not too bad. All right. All right. Now for the card, I'm going to take one of the pieces of Whisper White. Get this put away. I love that Baker's twine. I use it on my swaps and um, it ties very nice. 
All right, so I put some snail on the back of my whisper white piece. That's going to go on the inside. I mean, I'm sorry, this is gonna go on the front right here. <clears throat> then I'm gonna take this piece right here and use some more snail. You could use your liquid glue if you wanted to. And that's gonna go right on the front of your card. So you're gonna make sure this and this are equal along with this and this down here as much as you can. All right, there we go. There is that. All right, now I have my snowflakes done here. So here's the big one and all of the littler ones. <clears throat> here. All right. There we go. All right. I'm going to use some glue dots for the bigger ones. I'm just going to put three on the middle of this big snowflake here. And this is going to go over here and I'm kind of offsetting it a little bit so that um, it's not it's not in the center at all. Okay, and then this one, this one I'm going to use. I guess I will use some of my liquid glue here, and I'm going to put the dollops on these bigger. pieces right here. Okay. And that's going to go <clears throat> over here. All right, just like that. Except now that I see, I think I want it down just a, I want it down just a tad there. And if you get glue on some place that you don't want, it will, you can just get it off with your adhesive eraser or just rub it with your fingertip and it'll take it right off. All right, now I'm going to take the biggest of the small ones, and that's going to go down here. And then this one is going to go up here. Now you always want to choose an odd number. So I wouldn't put six. I do have five on here. And this one's just gonna go like up under the ribbon a little bit. Then I'm going to take some of my rhinestones. I'm gonna take the, do I use the bigger one? I use the medium sized one on this one right here in the middle. And then I use the smaller ones on these other ones right here. All right. Then I took the snowflake trinkets, snowflake trinkets. Um, you can use whatever one you want. There's two different kinds. So I will use this, I used this one last time, I'll use this one this time. And the best thing to use for these is glue dot. So I just take a glue dot with my pokey tool and kind of wad it up a little bit and put that on the back in the middle. 
and then that's going to go right there. All right. So it's really, once you get all your elements cut out, it goes really fast. This would be a good card to mass produce. All right, so for the inside of the card, I already have my Stamparatus set up here. I have got my sentiment over here. <clears throat> I'm going to put my inside panel, which... Is four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna put that over here. I'm gonna take my Mary Merlot, and that's gonna go right here. And I think I'm just gonna stamp it one more time for good measure because now I can. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to take my Simply Chamois and I'm just going to wipe off my stamp here. And then that is done. Now I can take some snail or fast fuse. I'm just going to put it up at the top. And then that is going to go right on the inside. Just like that. All right, so there is that one, and there is that one. I think they're very pretty, and like I said, they're very fast, so if you need to mass produce, um, this is gonna be a good one. So um, don't forget to order if you want this stamp set by November 30th, because it will be gone then. And don't forget about the online extravaganza. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.